historic and full-scale space shuttle <laughs> mock-up is getting ready to go on display. Inspiration will move through Downey today to make its way to its future home. And joining us now is President and Executive Director of the Columbia Memorial Space Center, Ben Dickow. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Uh, what an exciting morning for all of us, but especially for you being there. Um, first, can you just uh, explain a little bit of the history behind Inspiration? Sure. So Inspiration is the first space shuttle ever built. It was built in 1972 uh, to really prove that we could build space shuttles. And so we see some of the renderings, I believe, behind you. So where is Inspiration headed and what can we expect to see once it's actually on display? Uh, so right now it's headed to a temporary facility. It's going to get um, it's it's going to get restored fully and then it's going to move to our permanent new building that's going to be built over the next year or so. And when it goes on display to the public, you'll actually be able to go into the shuttle and have an experience inside the space shuttle. That's so cool. What an amazing opportunity for us here in Southern California. Exactly. If you were giving someone a tour of it, let's say, what would you say was the most significant, interesting thing about it? Ah, great question. Um, I think the most significant thing is that if it wasn't for the Inspiration Shuttle, we wouldn't have the space shuttles that then eventually went into space. This space shuttle, when it was built, helped the engineers figure out exactly what the, the shuttle was going to look like and how it was going to be able to go up and be reused and come back down to Earth. Um, basically, they were trying to figure out how to build a, a spaceship that goes from the Earth up into space, come back down again and do it over and over again. And our space shuttle Inspiration actually proved that concept for them. But the Inspiration was never used. It never went to space, correct? It never went to space, but it was used. Uh, this, uh, this shuttle was a tool for the engineers to fit things in. You have to remember this is the 70s before computer aided drafting. They actually had to build a full size shuttle first to figure out how all the fittings were gonna um, to, uh, to work together. Uh, in fact, inside the shuttle is a model of the toilet that eventually made it into space. Um, it, there's a crew cabin in there. Everything is exactly like the shuttles that went into space because they had to prove it first here on the ground and actually here in Downey. Well, you know the kids are going to love seeing the toilet because they always want to know how do you go to the bathroom in <laughs> yeah, space. Exactly. Yes, that's always the question that's asked <laughs> by kids. Number one question. Uh, what else can we expect uh, to see at the Columbia Memorial Space Center? Because there's so much there it has to offer. Oh, yeah. I mean, right now, the Space Center, you know, we're open five days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We have hands-on exhibits. We do all kinds of programs throughout the year. We put on L.A.'s largest science festival, the City of STEM, in April. And then once we build our second building, you'll be able to see the shuttle, plus a bunch more hands-on exhibits, a whole uh, mezzanine, all telling the story of aerospace history in Southern California. I really want people in Southern California to know this is your story. This is our story. This is our heritage. We built the Apollo capsules that went to the moon. We built the space shuttles right here in Downey and in Southern California, and everybody should own that and enjoy it. And hopefully that will inspire kids to get into those STEAM professions. You know, a lot of people have seen the Endeavor, right, in, in downtown LA, but it sounds like this right. is going to be more hands-on. Right. Definitely. Uh, I mean, it's great that the, that LA is going to have the first space shuttle and the last space shuttle ever built, and people can go back and forth between the two. This one is definitely going to be hands-on. You're going to be able to go, go into it, and I guarantee that there are going to be kids who walk into the shuttle, and it's going to spark them for the rest of their life. That's why we're doing this. All right, Ben Dicko, thank you so much for joining us today.